So what are bone stress injuries? Bone stress injuries occur when we have too much load that our bones cannot handle. So we're continuing to pound and pound and pound on our bones and they're not able to recover and remodel at the rate that they need to. Bone stress injuries include a spectrum of injury to the bone from a stress reaction where you just have some swelling or edema within the bone to a stress fracture where we can actually see a fracture line on radiographs. Typically, bone stress injuries first present as a pain only with running. So you'll have a sharp pain at the area that's bothering you, and that happens typically only when you run, and usually it will get a little bit better when you stop. So any sharp pain that's starting when you run, gets worse when you run, but improves a bit when you rest is a reason that you need to see the doctor. When you get up to the point where it's even hurting when you're walking around, not just with running, that's even more concerning and you need to come in to make sure that you don't have a bone stress injury. Typically, bone stress injuries are treated with rest. So we need to offload the injured area. The length of time and the amount of rest depend on where the injury occurred, how bad it is, um, and often if you're developing or where you are um, in a training cycle is taken into account. Typically, when runners get injured, I try to do everything I can to keep them running as much as possible, but this is one injury that we can't run through. It's going to become worse. So this is something that we need to take seriously and make sure that we're getting adequate rest right away. Oftentimes, if you stop running at the initial signs of a bone stress injury, it can save you a few weeks later on. Whereas if you continue to push another mile or another two miles, you could actually make that injury significantly worse and it requires even more downtime later on.